Welcome back to 14. Now, storm alert is low today. Here's for one meteorologist Daniel McFarlane. And Daniel, we'll talk about a couple thunderstorms we're watching out right now. Yeah, there's a couple out there, Robbie. So even the storm alerts low right now that could be changing with two spots that I'm watching right here. So this is going to be visible satellite. I'm looking at this thunderstorm developing very quickly outside Oracle and another one there for you in central Cochise County. Not really super strong thunderstorms yet, but it is going to be something to watch. It's actually the area next to Oracle, which has the strongest rain so far. Looking at that storm, there's plenty of lightning with it. Height, though, it's still working its way up. You want it to be closer to about 45, 50,000 feet for a severe storm, and they're still in the process of building. So that's something we're going to be tracking for you over the next little bit. Now I want to turn your attention further down towards the south. So this is going to be what's now Hurricane Hillary, and it's starting to get into view a visible satellite for us. And I do want to get closer towards the eye to show you that it is developing. So again, category two storm now, but you see that eye hole kind of closing up a little bit. That tells you that it's going to slow down for now, but eventually that eye wall is going to build its way back up and whenever you have a well-defined eye wall that means that the storm is going to be strengthening once again. So that should happen later on during this afternoon and this evening because it does take a few hours for it to build up again but at least for now 105 mile per hour winds and it's moving relatively quickly at about 14 miles per hour and it's only going to be speeding up over the next few days here. I am expecting this to be a category four storm at latest by this time tomorrow. And it's going to be holding that strength, I think, as it approaches Baja. But whenever it makes landfall, potentially in Baja or off the coast of California, it looks like it's going to be dying down to a tropical storm. Now that's good news. And the thing that we're looking at with it that's going to be dropping down the strength is going to be all that cold water off the coast of California. If you've ever been to the beach there, you know it's there. That water starts off in Alaska and works its way down even as far south as Baja. And storms like this need warmer water to keep that strength, and that's just not something we're seeing right now with it. Now for Tucson, again, we're going to be on the east side of the storm, and that's typically where you have the strongest thunderstorms, and that's also going to be where you have the heaviest rain. So we're going to keep an eye on that track for you and give you the latest updates with the rain totals. At least for now, it looks like Tucson could see up to about an inch of rain, but it's going to be closer to California where you start to see those really high rain totals. Yuma, places like San Diego look like they're going to be expecting the most with the way it's shaping up so far. So for us here in Tucson, I'm looking at Friday to have stronger thunderstorms unrelated to Hillary and then eventually Robbie Saturday, Sunday, Monday, temperatures dropping, high rain chances, less chance of say stronger or severe storms, but those are going to be days to watch out for those impacts from Hillary. Yeah, absolutely. And Hillary is, is going to make a big impact so many places, including right here in Arizona. Daniel, thank you so much. Well, today's for your health more than